This is Peter Conrad from San Jose, California. You're watching the show with Dave Frank. Dude, that duck behind you has a package like I've never seen. Happy Tuesday. Joe Dester writes, did anybody mention that this giant baby was born two years ago? It looks like your power move defenses will be too late. Sweet, way to fulfill the third thing that is foretold in LYBWNBC. It's right here. Some wank shall point out the amazingly slow birth of the giant baby. Don't be offended. Back when it was written, wank was a term of endearment. He's a good wank. The news isn't two years old, it took two years to deliver the giant baby. You probably just bought into the liberal press. But now that you completed the trifecta, power moves are more important than ever. What is your power move? Anyways, what were we talking about? It's become, oh right, Scooter. So like George and Dick were totally pissed off at Saddam, right? Nancy told me that it was because at lunch, Saddam wouldn't share those little delicious balls in the funny shaped bread that are deep fried in oil. But not only that, Carl said Dick told George that he overheard Saddam call George's dad a pussy. That was right after his dad broke up this fight and bent Saddam over his knee but didn't spank him because he knew that the PTA would get all freaked out. So George asked Tony whether he knew anything about Saddam and Tony said that he heard that Saddam had bought a whole bunch of ninja throwing stars from a kid at one of the downtown schools and was hiding him in his locker. So anyways, Joseph, who'd spent his whole freshman year at the downtown school, overheard the conversation and decided to go down there and check it out. But when he went down there, they were like, who the hell's Saddam and what the hell is a ninja throwing star? They also said, say hi to Angelina because she comes down there a lot. So Joseph told one of George's kind of friends, who's also named George, to tell George that Tony was probably making shit up. But then a few days later, George got up in front of the whole cafeteria and told everybody that Saddam had ninja throwing stars and that the other George would back him up. Not only that, but he said that that was why Saddam wouldn't let anyone look in his locker, not even the hall monitors. So everyone was like, crap, I don't want to get hit with a ninja throwing star. And besides, Saddam's kind of a bully anyway, so they all got together in the playground and beat the crap out of him. But Joseph was like, screw that. I told George to tell George that it wasn't true. And he got up in front of the whole home ec class and told him his side of the story. That's also when he remembered to say hi to Angelina, because she's hot. Jen told me that her lips are so big because she gives all the guys blow. So when they heard about what happened in home ec, Dick and George got pissed and Dick called Joseph a hippie. But then the next day, Bob the class clown started telling everyone that Joseph girl Valerie was actually one of those undercover student hall monitors. And that totally blew her cover while she was in the middle of trying to find out whether the rumors about Angelina were true. Bob said that he got his info from a couple of seniors and everybody started spreading rumors that it must have been Dick. Dick and his little brother Scott said it wasn't them and George said if he found out who it was he'd kick their ass. It turned out that class clowns from almost every grade had been told about Valerie. So the principal started asking questions about who leaked the info and started handing out detentions to people who wouldn't talk. Finally this one kid Matt caved in and he said that one of George's best friends Carl told him. But George didn't kick his ass. But then this other girl caved in and she said she got her info from Scooter, that freshman who's always following Dick around. Then Carl was like, yeah, totally, see, it wasn't me. So then the principal pulls in both Carl and Scooter and asks them questions, but then lets Carl go. It turns out that Scooter told the principal that he first heard about Valerie from the class clowns. But the principal found a note that Scooter wrote that said that Scooter found it out from Dick. And lying is worse than anything. Anyways, that's why Scooter's in the principal's office getting bitched out for lying. And that's why you never lie to the principal.